Hey guys, no dance party this week because I'm at work. Yeah. Um, so sorry if I'm talking quietly. I'll lean forward. Hi. <laughs> it's been a really busy week for me, but um, some good things did happen. So I'll talk about those. Um, first, I saw Jesus Christ. Hey, brother, here, go ahead. Oh, something is happening. Um. Jesus Christ Superstar at FSU, and I went, like, I've had the music for a while, and I didn't really, like, it was okay, didn't really care for it, and I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, because it was really good, and I'm going to put in a couple pictures right now. Yeah, the set and costumes and lighting were so good, like, the picture really doesn't do it justice, but, like, the Caesar's Palace facade thing in the background that's not like a backdrop like there were literally these things like <laughs> like bent over supported somehow and then the whole back was projection which doesn't look very good in the picture and I usually hate projections but it worked really well here's a couple more pictures of Jesus and Judas Oh my gosh, it was so good. So um, that kind of like renewed my love for FSU theater. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, I've been doing Nutcracker, which actually hasn't been going very well. Like, mm, yeah, whatever. Uh, voice lessons have been going really well. So, you know, fingers crossed, maybe I'll actually sing in front of people. Yay! I got my sewing machine today and it sucks because I literally was home and it came and had to leave I haven't gotten to play with it yet or even like set it up yet, but I thought I'd share with you guys what I was going to make. Um, first I have to make a shirt for class and it's really boring. I'm going to do this one. And um, since it's such a boring pattern, I'm probably going to do it in some crazy Christmas plaid or something because Nutcracker puts me in a Christmas mood. <laughs> then if I finish that, I'm allowed to work on this in class. I'm also very excited about. Obviously, it's an Alice dress. I don't know if I'm going to make it an Alice dress or if I'm going to just make a dress with this pattern. And once I'm done with that, because I have a sewing machine now, I'm going to make this coat in red to be like the one from Love Actually. And my other pattern is missing, but it's um, like a steampunk Victorian one and it's very complicated. That's why it's last on the list. Um, but actually a town about an hour north of here does a thing called, um, Victorian Christmas every year, and, um, I plan on going, Jacob and I are going to go, and hopefully Laura, I don't know, Laura's always crazy busy too, but if you're in a Victorian costume, there's certain things you can do for free, and, I mean, you don't have to tell me twice to put on a Victorian costume, basically. Oh, hey, I had to stop because someone walked in, and that would have been awkward. On the bright side. I found the pattern I was looking for. Ooh, yay. It's really hard. And I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to make it, but we're going to try. And yeah, that's all. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I love and miss you all. I cannot wait to see you, Laura and Jen, in um, words, Pride and Prejudice. I'm, despite appearances, <laughs> I'm really, really excited. And. So I will see you guys tomorrow, and the rest of you have a great week. I miss you.